close your eyes and remember to stay with the breath. I was reading a piece by someone who was saying that when you're in the present moment, there's no memory. So mindfulness cannot mean memory, which is a very unreflective way of looking at things. You have to remember to stay. That's what the memory is here. It's not, your, it's not the case that you're remembering your childhood or remembering what so-and-so said yesterday or did yesterday. You're remembering, what are you supposed to be doing right now? Because it's so easy to forget. The mind goes into its states of becoming, and each time it enters a state of becoming, it tends to drop its memory. It's as if it blanks out for a bit. And as a result, we find ourselves in states of becoming, taking on an identity in a particular world of experience, and forgetting how we got there, why we got there, and oftentimes forgetting that we can get out. But if you're mindful that you remember what you're doing as you go into a state of becoming, then you can get out easily. And even better, as you notice what you're doing, you can remember to ask yourself, is this a good place to go? And if it's not, you can remember how to get out. So memory plays a huge role here, and even in just staying in the present moment. And it's good to reflect on that, because a lot of the, the teaching is just that getting you to reflect on what you're doing. If the mind is like a finger pointing out at the moon, instead of allowing yourself to be deluded into looking at the moon, you look back at the finger. Who's pointing the finger? Why? That's when you're looking at the mind in terms of the Four Noble Truths. In other words, how the mind is talking to itself is the cause of suffering. It's not the things outside that are making us suffer, it's what we're doing that's making us ourselves suffer. So we have to keep very aware of what we're doing so we can see where we're not doing it skillfully and where we can be become more skillful. So remember to stay right here. Remember to be in the present moment, to watch the present moment as you're forming it. That way you'll come to understand where the suffering is, why it's there, and how you can put an end to it. It's always good to keep these things in mind. <laughs>